cryptic, mystic, fortune teller picnic. There's nothing wrong with a little California magic. Long time listener, first time caller. Is this what it feels like? To be kneeling at the altar. Hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, so today we're gonna go over California Magic uh, by Goose. It's a really fun song. Uh, really, really digging this song right now. Uh, so we're gonna go over the chords, progression, all that good stuff. Um, maybe a little bit of the riff that I was just kind of messing around with um, in that intro as well. Uh, so we're gonna go over all that. Uh, if this is uh, you know your first time here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell for notifications, I really do appreciate it. Uh, if it's not your first time here, thank you for coming back. I, again, greatly appreciate it. Oh yeah, this is a lot of fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop in. All right guys, so uh, California Magic, we're gonna start here on this G, uh, GC intro here. So, starting with that G chord, uh, just a quick, quick hard strum on the G. Then you're gonna do some muted, followed by some mutes or whatever you wanna do really, but there's just a little, little break in there. And we're going to a C, and then hammering back into that G chord. And that's what gives it that, um, to me at least, that kind of bluesy, rocky feel there. You can have a ton of fun with just <laughs> just playing that. Um, the one little riff that I, that I think the bass player is playing this, I was listening to uh, one of the, oh, obviously there's only live versions of this song. Um, so at least in my Spotify, the, the show that comes up with this song, I feel like he's doing that a lot. Or something along those lines. That's all I'm doing there. Uh, third fret here, that D. And then to the second fret of that, um, second fret of the A, I'm sorry, third fret of the A. Twice, I think. Maybe three times. Then uh, sixth fret of the E. Then uh, back to this A, so third fret. Hammer onto the fifth, resolve to that third fret, that G here uh, on the low E. And again, that's just something that I've kind of picked up that you could, you can add in when you're messing around playing that as well. So that okay. So then the the verse verse starts here, um, starts with that G of course, the cryptic, mystic. And you do that again. Fortune teller picnic. So from here, um, before going to that B flat, I'm gonna hit fifth fret of that uh, of the low E. So hitting that A note. So your B flat. Then we have an F. Um, <clears throat> and I, I definitely see Rick playing chords like this a lot. From what I've uh, still very new, but what I've been watching, um, they tend to play a lot of chords in these shapes. Uh, so he's playing the F this way, um, which is the same way you play the E for Lonely Trip, I believe. Yep, okay, anyway. Um, so, so barring, barring the fifth fret here, uh, middle finger is on the sixth of the B, ring is on the seventh of the D, and pinky is on the eighth of the A. F. We got D minor here. Uh, again, just barring that fifth fret. Um, and everything I've seen is a is like an F over C, but I'm just playing C here to the B flat. So 
we go through that uh, go through that piece real quick here again. Pretty consistent uh, throughout the majority of the majority of the verses will be like that. Your B flat, F, D minor, C, B flat. Sometimes B flat seven, I think as well. Um, the Leopard Skin Lady verse, you've got your G, you've got that, that whole piece there, and you have your B flat still, to your F. But here, um, I think these rollerblades might save me. <laughs> so there's an A7 theorem in there, so something kind of like, um, I don't know, but lately, I think these rollerblades might save me. So you've got that A7. D minor, C, and this leads into um, to the chorus. B flat to F, B flat, F, B flat, passing B diminished seven, F, D minor, C, B flat, seven. Um, so the only different chord really in there that we hadn't gone over is that B diminished uh, seven, um, and I, like I said, I've got a love hate relationship with those chords. Um, I like how they're, you know, good for transitioning, but man, they are they just don't feel natural. Um, so this one, I believe the way you actually play this chord, uh, so you can bar your sixth fret. Uh, middle finger on seventh fret of the low E, and then ring finger on on seventh fret of the uh, of the G. Um, now, to me again, that just feels so unnatural, and it's a quick passing note uh, chord. So I'm not I'm not worrying about this. Uh, I'm not worrying about the low E here. I'm just playing. I'm just playing that. So I'm keeping my bar here, got my middle finger here on that seventh, the G, and I'm just strumming the D, G, and C chords here, or strings here. So, uh, and if, again, so from there, from that uh, diminished seven, you go back into the, um, so the F, D minor, C, B flat, so. Outside of uh, jamming and soloing, that that is the song. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, it's it's a pretty long song. There's a lot of lyrics, a lot of lyrics, so a lot of chord changes, but the chords are pretty much repetitive. Um, pretty much repetitive the entire way uh, once, once you get it down. So again, most of the verses are all gonna be that same G. Uh, they're all gonna all the verses are gonna have that. And I think only the Leopard Skin Lady verse has the A7. I haven't, I haven't heard or seen the A7 anywhere else. So, uh, all right, so I think that's it. Um, I hope this helps you all out. Uh, please leave me feedback, comments below, and uh, yeah, see you.